Oh, God. Elvis the Alien, why? <laughs> why, 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 why? Elvis the Alien has put out a response video, not to my video, of course. You know, don't, don't get it twisted. It ain't to my shit. In fact, this came out around the same time my video went up today about Elvis. Uh, so I don't think he even realizes that there now is information out there about him <laughs> doing a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, having, having directories of child porn on his computer. Um... But yeah, so he put out a response video basically to those idiots on Twitter, quote-unquote, uh, where he's calling everyone who disagrees with him a fucking idiot, uh, everybody who has a problem with what he did an idiot. Uh, he downplays what he did. He lies about what, you know, happened in certain aspects. Um, so I, we'll, we'll keep this one short, and we'll just go through quickly some of the things in this video, and we'll just uh, debunk some of the things he said. Why am I still getting hate? <laughs> All right, so right out of the gate, he's expressing directly to everybody that he doesn't take this seriously at all. Great start. Um, Twitter is a place where you will get dogpiled on by hundreds of people for a shitty tweet you made seven years ago. Okay, Elvis, so what do you think the time limit should be on people getting angry at you for saving, viewing, and reacting to child pornography as well as sharing it? Just curious. People online are crazy, so I'm done giving them my energy past this video. Well, shit, I guess that means he's not going to respond to any of the other stuff that he was caught doing. Fuck. There's a document listing every creator that has ever interacted with Shadman on Twitter, and it's seen as this huge sin now, like the Epstein tapes or something, when it's not comparable at all. You! just made the comparison to the Epstein tapes. That was something that you came up with when you were writing down uh, your script to go by. So saying it's not comparable at all, that's that's fine, but you're the one who compared them. Um, you don't even have to be friends with the guy. Simply replying to his tweets at one point in a friendly way is enough for these people to bring out the guillotine. That's not what you did. We're not talking about you replying in a friendly manner to one of his tweets. We're talking about you publicly defending Chadman and reacting to his content on your channel, and saving the child pornography that he created to folders on your PC. Knock, knock, open up, it's the FBI. Let me be clear, I was impulsive with my initial tweet when I defended myself, and in that tweet I said that back then I wasn't aware of the full extent of Shadman's degeneracy. This is a hand wave of the entire situation because what he is talking about is lying to his audience lying to his audience. Phrasing it in such a way where he says, you know, I said this and I said that in my original tweet. You lied in your original tweet. You misrepresented, you fabricated, you misstated, you misrepresented. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's actually call it what it is. You, you lied to your audience in your original tweet. When the truth is, I knew I knew enough. Um... I really didn't need confirmation back then, or hard proof that he was a pedo. Of course you didn't need proof that he was a pedo. You reacted to graphic sexual content that he drew of a mother and daughter having sex, the daughter being underage. The fuck is wrong with you? What are you saying, I didn't really need confirmation? You know, honestly... You know, I didn't... Back then, I didn't really need that extra confirmation. I should have known. I really should have... Yeah, you should have fucking known. You reacted to fucking Elastigirl and Violet child porn, you fucking idiot. Of course you knew at the time. Of course you were well aware. You were 100% knowledgeable of the fact that this was pedophilic material. You fucking knew without a shadow of a fucking doubt. And what's got me angry right now is that you have released a second apology video and are still lying. Um, I really didn't need confirmation back then or hard proof that he was a pedo or, or proof that he drew art for many other pedos um, to find him worthy of serious scrutiny. I probably could have just guessed that. Why are you pretending that you didn't know he drew artwork for other pedos? In your video where you are reacting to Incredibles child porn, you directly say that you think he has a Patreon where people pay him to draw child pornography. No, this is all the same thing, and it just shows him, like, 
fucking pretty much. But I think he has a Patreon where people pay him to like draw this stuff, like they request it. Wow. Shows, uh, what is this one? Violet sucking off her mom. Great. Like this shit's intense. You don't see this stuff very often, nope, do you? Definitely not. Like, did you expect this stuff to be out there? Did you even think that this stuff was out there? Definitely not. The world's a <laughs> creepy place. I mean, it's kind of funny in a twisted way. Like, she's shoving her, her mom's balls into her mouth, like... <laughs> you were very, very clearly aware of the fact that he did that. You, you even are recalling it from memory. This is not something you saw on Twitter. This is not something somebody just told you. But I think he has a Patreon where people pay him to, like, draw this stuff. Like, they request it. You were saying, I think that he does this. So you knew about it, and you're recalling that from your own memory about this guy. Like, what, do you, what is this fucking shit where you're saying, I should have been able to guess that he did that? You fucking knew he did it, and you went and took a screenshot of his fucking Patreon. I probably could have just guessed that by what I saw on Twitter. All right, guys, so I'll need you to pay special attention to this part of the video, so please forgive me while I treat you like a dog. Over here. Hey, okay, I need you guys to pay special attention to this part of the video. Hello? You guys watching? You're not tabbed out. You're not doing something else. Pause, pause whatever game you're playing, and if you can't pause it, Alt F4. Uh, this is the point where we are going to prove, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that Elvis the Alien is lying in this video. If you heard what he just said, he said that he should have gassed that Shadman drew child porn uh, from what he was shown on Twitter. He should have gassed just based on the images on Twitter. So that would lead you to believe, based on his comments there, that he only saw Shadman's work on Twitter. And since he only saw it on Twitter, he should have guessed, just totally guessed, that Shadman was a pedo, drawing pedo material. He should have guessed that from those tweets. So in order for that statement to be the case, in order for that to be true, for that to hold water, that would have to mean that he only saw Shadman's art on Twitter when it was sent to him. Okay? Here's a clip of him going to Shadman's website. So this is a picture of, who is that again? I forgot the, the character's Violet. name. Violet. Violet, yeah. What's she doing? She's like holding. I don't know what that is. That's a Nintendo DS bag. Shadman sent me that. This dude is like famous for uh, drawing a bunch of really lewd stuff. You wanna see his website real quick? Sure. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Ooh, that uh, banner at the top is. He draws a lot of little girls doing it. I want you to pay special attention to the fact that he is not only going to Shadman's website, he's typing in the address for Shadman's website and showing the website to this other person in the video. Meaning that he has been to Shadman's website before. So yeah, when, uh, when Elvis the Alien says, Aw, uh, you know, I should have guessed from those tweets, from the Twitter posts, I should have guessed that he drew pedo stuff. God damn it, that's totally fucking bullshit. Uh, and it wasn't even that hard to prove. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is this is actually one of the Incredibles. If you'll notice, they went to Shadman's website and brought up an Incredibles image on the website and said, oh hey, this is the Incredibles. So that means that one of the images they reacted to in this video was them going to Shadman's site and finding child pornography there and reacting to it from his website when previously Elvis the alien was saying oh this was all stuff I was sent on Twitter the image <laughs> that you're reacting to right now was not sent to you on Twitter you went and looked it up I felt like I had to act fast on Twitter the other day okay fine that's understandable but in this video you're making right now you have a script that you sat down and wrote and you're still lying context does not matter on Twitter it doesn't seem to matter in your made-up fake scripts, either. Um, and of course, it's Keemstar who made this so much worse. Um, you defended the free speech rights of a guy who drew Keemstar's daughter, uh, I think giving a blowjob from what I read. So I'm not a fan of Keemstar, but in this, in this situation, absolutely just fuck you. The man is 42 years old, and he's dating a 23-year-old. Oh my god, when Keemstar was 19, his girlfriend was just being born.
Oh, come on. Let's not pretend you have a problem with that. Why don't they just compromise a little bit? They understand logically why it's wrong to, you know, go after kids, right? So why don't you go after the youngest possible person, but have it be legal at the same time? So 18 year olds, I mean, depending on where you live, it could be 16. Go on Tinder and make the age 18. 